This is Neil Patwari, and I'm going to talk in this video segment about the average symbol and bit energy of a modulation. One of the two key ways we're going to quantify any constellation of any modulation is its average symbol energy and its average bit energy. So let me define what we're talking about here. We're going to use E sub s as our average symbol energy. The average symbol energy is 1 over m times the sum of all of the magnitude squared of the symbol vectors. And these are s sub m for m equals 0 to m minus 1. And then our average energy per bit is going to take that average symbol energy and divide it by log base 2 of m. Why log base 2 of m? This is the number. So if e sub s is energy and kind of joules per symbol, then if I have the number of bits per symbol, then I'm going to end up here with units of joules per bit. Remember that this S sub M has voltage values, so when I square them, I get power values, and because then I'm transmitting them over time, and they have unit energy, that corresponds then to energy. So that's why I get joules in both sides rather than watts or volts. When we are given a constellation, we can calculate the average symbol energy and the average bit energy. So let's do an example. I presented m equals 8 rectangular quam in the previous video segment. On this grid, uh, that has a and minus a on the, the phi 1 axis and minus 3a minus a, a and 3a on the phi 0 axis, I have eight symbol points. And the question is, what is the average energy of this modulation, uh, of this constellation? So the energy per symbol, average energy per symbol for m equals 8, I'm going to divide uh, 1 eighth by the sum of all of the squared distances from the origin. For this first symbol, I'm going to have this distance squared. Well, I can write that as a squared plus a squared, right? And there are four of these points. I've drawn it kind of to tell you, kind of hint what I'm going to do here. I'm going to say that all of these four points on the inside of this constellation are the same distance from the origin. So instead of doing 2a squared plus 2a squared plus 2a squared plus 2a squared, I'm going to multiply this by 4. And then I'm going to move on to the other symbol points that are at some other distance. Let me take this one. This one is um, 3a quantity squared plus a squared. That's the squared distance of this constellation point. And there are, again, four of these constellation points, symbol points, that are on this outside circle. So I know they all have the same amplitude. So I'm going to multiply that by four again. The average energy per symbol becomes 6a squared. And the average energy per bit then becomes 6a squared divided by log base 2 of 8 which is 3, so I get 2a squared. For phase shift keying, all of my symbol points have the same energy. Let's call that symbol energy a squared. Okay, because that average symbol energy is going to be the average of all of these, this is just going to be 1 over m times m times a squared. So I'm going to get a squared out of the sim average symbol energy. The average bit energy is going to be a squared divided by log base 2 of m. Okay, so that's going to decrease as I increase capital M. But the average energy per symbol, remember, is constant. We'll have you do many different examples of calculating the average symbol energy in different constellation diagrams for QAM, or in fact, in other modulations that we'll talk about later.